All right, well, had a pretty bad day today. Went up to uh, Houston Mudslingers, and uh, yeah, I was down there for about two hours, I'd say. And I mean, we had fun. It was, it was. I mean, I'm not complaining about nothing. It was pretty lit, but I was just gonna make a video if you wanted to know <clears throat> how to unsink your four-wheeler, because obviously I have sunk in my four-wheeler. And I didn't do it once, I did it multiple times in one day within, I'd say a one hour period. Basically, I checked my oil after I sunk it. I sunk it the last time, and it was really milky. So I was like, "Yeah, it's time to go." Cause I'm not the one that's gonna sit there and keep on riding my my brand new four. It's 2021, by the way. I'm not the one that's gonna just sit there and keep on riding my brand new four wheeler with water in the oil. And I also had to take off my air filter, cause. <clears throat> when all right so what happened was the only reason it sunk the third time or second time whatever how many times it sunk it i don't know i feel like i sunk it five times i mean it's a good damn four wheeler don't get me wrong electric shift it's it's been completely underwater i'm telling you right there's the band from the mud park i went to earlier like I said, I went to Mudslingers. But, uh, yeah. Uh, I changed the oil about, it takes about two and a half quarts or three quarts, really. I put three quarts in it. But I put about three quarts in it and I just run it and check it. And I put about three more quarts in there now I run it and check it and run it and check it. And I'll keep doing that until the oil is not milky. Yeah, I just I just tore my air filter off. As you can see, I, she definitely was sunken. So I've had to drain plug the whole, out the whole time. And I've just been letting it drain all the oil out. Like I said, I've already changed it like three times. So... I'm gonna change it this last time. It w it wasn't milky at all the last time, but I'm gonna keep on changing it just to make sure. And then Monday when the Honda dealerships open, I'm gonna go up there and get some actual. Uh, I think, think it's shit's called like GN4 or some shit like that. But until then, I'm flushing it out with ND motor oil. And this shit is pretty thick, that's why I'm using it. And also 10W40, cause that's, they ran out of this shit, so I had to buy that switch of shit. But I ain't worried about it. Uh, I paid too damn much for this fucking four wheeler. It's really pissing me off. Well, I, it, I mean, it's really my fault I left the drain plug out of it, but it'd be all right, you know? Shit happens. I'm actually finna check the oil filter right now. I got the three bolts out, so. Let's go ahead and see what that looks like. hammer or something to get a little fudge. This guy's the little 125 I used to be on. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I mean... What do y'all think? Put your suggestion in the comments. I wish I had a flashlight so I could show you. But I think I flushed it this last time and she will be good. 
We'll go ahead and slap that bad boy back in there. I can't tell if that's mud in the corner right there or if that's just the air, the oil filter. I mean, it's a brand new oil filter. I don't get it. It may have a lot of mud in it. I don't, I don't know. I really don't care. I'm gonna run it like it is. But I'm gonna make sure it's not gonna blow up on me while I'm riding it. Also, son of a bitch. Make sure no fucking dirt got on it. God dang. Also, when you put in your oil filter, or your oil filter, this right here, this ring right here, it goes facing out. I think it says it on here anyways. Yeah. Towards filter cover outside. But anyways, make sure that's facing out or it, it's gonna stop up your damn oil filter. But I put the oil filter back in. I have to put the train plug back in. And I'm gonna fill her back up with three more quarts and see what she does. She's a dirty old thing, I'll tell you that much. I haven't really cleaned up there the plastics and I do do that thing to her. Look at that shit. Like what the hell is that? What the hell is that? Uh, I'm getting a little bit tired. I just been, oh yeah, by the way, I just been hand tightening, hand tightening that uh, drain bolt. <coughs> Well, I've just been flushing it out. Just because I've just been flushing it out, you know, it don't really got to be that tight. I know it's right here. It's not going to fucking blow out on me. All right, I'm going to put the put these three quarts in there right now. Um, I was, I was going to pour some of this right here, just pour it on the damn oil filter, but I'm not going to mix all this different type of oil. I mean, even though I already have, I'm not going to do that to it. But I'm just going to put the old Castro, you know, that's on race cars, so that's got to be good. And something about this shit right here, I don't know, it's pretty thick. So, it's only three ninety nine. so. This shit, on the other hand, five ninety nine. dollars But yeah, I'm about to slap this old oil off in her. And let's see if she... She was ticking. I'm gonna see if she's still ticking. I mean, it, it's never had dirty oil in it, black oil in it, nothing. It's brand new. So, it's looking like it's supposed to look. What the hell did I do in my funnel? Oh, here's my funnel. And this funnel don't like it. See, that funnel don't like to stay in there either. Now we get dirt on the end of that shit. Yeah, make sure you wipe, wipe that off. Yeah. Which one is I to start with first? I think I'm gonna start with the Castro. I think I'm gonna do this, then that, and then that. Mix it up a little bit. Now again, it says online that they really only hold like two and a half quarts, but I put, I'm putting three. I put three in all. But I don't screw my dipstick all the way in like it says. Because I've never screwed my dipstick all the way in on anything I've ever owned, so. There goes another one. Another six dollars down. All right. I know I said I was going to do that one, but I'm just going to go ahead and do this one. Kind of play with it a little bit, you know? Just so it don't feel like, just so you're not so depressed that it's like, that you just like almost blown up. I mean, it's not almost blown up, but it could have been. I just take care of my stuff. <laughs> kind of, kind of take care of my stuff. See, look at this. I don't know, somebody, somebody tell me what this right here is. It's ND40, I'm telling you. Straight 40. What you what is this? It's some thick old 
I, I like it. I like putting thick oil in it. All right, so I just got them three quarts poured in there, the two castor oil and the uh, the uh, damn MD40, ND40 actually. Yeah, let me know what that is, cause I I need to know. But this right here is all the oil that I've cycled through it. And as you can see, it was a little milky. Yep, it was a little milky. I mean, it looks worse on camera. I don't know why it looks worse on camera. But I'm gonna start her up and see what she sounds like now. Now I haven't changed oil. It's, it's not smoking or nothing, so I'm happy with that. Even lighter than. change the oil in it Monday and right there goes my wife I'm gonna change the oil in it Monday and get a new oil filter so it should be good to go I believe <laughs> 